never before seen video of the moments in June 2013 when police captured child killer Donald Smith. Driver, step out of the vehicle. Face away from us. Keep your hands in the air. Stop. All new, the News 4 Jack's I team has obtained an extraordinary recording of Smith admitting in detail to the kidnapping, rape, and murder of eight-year-old Cherish Periwinkle. Smith now sits on death row at Rayford, awaiting execution. I-Team investigator Lindsay Gardner has been painstakingly going through this chilling recording of Smith. We want to warn you, what you're about to hear is disturbing. Lindsay. Tom, we also obtained this, a letter from Smith's former psychologist to the state attorney's office dated all the way back in 2002. That doctor calls Smith a clear and present danger to children and the community. Words written before Cherish was ever born and a life later lost that could have been saved if warnings had been acted upon. I don't feel children sexual Donald Smith in the Duval County Jail in 2013, confessing his latest heinous crime to who we believe to be his own mother, showing the depths of his true sickness. I need a very simple book. Cherish, a child who wanted a cheeseburger, last seen on Walmart security footage, skipping out of the store with Smith who later sexually and physically assaulted and tortured her before choking the life out of her. Could it have happened the way they said? Yes, it could have. It could have. But in the same breath, Smith delivers a truly unbelievable statement. Never be able to work through all this. Never. I'll never be okay. So rather than spend the rest of my life being humiliated by myself, telling all this crap in my head, I might as well just die with it. Easier to just die with it because I'll probably never get through it anyway. That's what my brain's telling me. Coming up all new at 6, what Donald Smith admits to being truly afraid of and if death row was the right punishment based on his fears. That's in our report less than an hour away. But Tom and Joy, as a mother of a daughter or just as a human being, hearing from Smith was upsetting and sickening, made worse that a psychologist was warning prosecutors more than a decade before. Joy? Very upsetting.